Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Lesotho News Television. In this video you are going to learn about the most place the most beautiful places in Lesotho. Apart from that, you will learn about some activities you can do if you are on holiday in Lesotho. Make sure that you stay with me throughout this video so that you can learn all about the things that I mentioned in my introduction. Anyway, before I can go on with this video, Lesotho News Television is a new channel that is going to help people who want to learn about Lesotho, about politics, about the current trends that are happening in Lesotho and the tourism as large. Now let's get let's go on with this video. Lesotho has many physical tourist attractions. Whenever the snow falls in our country, you see many tourists crossing the border to Lesotho. Usually snow falls in Lesotho attracts so many tourists to our country. I don't actually know why, but I think they want to admire the beauty of nature that covers our country. Just like in the above picture, you can see it in this video. Okay, let me give you a glimpse about the past articles I wrote on my blog, which is yenonlinelisotu.news.blog. It is my other project which I am running when I am not on this television channel. I talked about ways of making money online, affiliate marketing, freelancing, etc. Okay, back to our topics today. People who are tour guys leverage foreign exchange very much. I know about this woman who is the founder of Mokotlo Expeditions. Because of her perseverance, she is now the face of Visit Lesotho. Visit Lesotho is one of the companies in Lesotho which is responsible for organizing the tour guides. So, if you are a foreigner and you are looking for best places to visit in Liribe Lesotho or places to visit in Maseru Lesotho, she is the right person to guide you and your team. Okay. Let's see how this video is going to be structured. We are going to talk about why is Lesotho a tourist attraction to what type of destination is Lesotho. Three, physical tourist attractions in Lesotho. Four, historical places in Lesotho. Five, the most beautiful places in Lesotho. Six, Top 10 places to visit in Lesotho. 7. What are some activities you can do if you are on holiday in Lesotho? 8. What is there to do in Lesotho during winter? 9. What is the coldest place in Lesotho? 10. Picnic spots in Maseru. And the last one. Romantic things to do in Maseru. Okay, let's proceed to the subtopic. Why is Lesotho a tourist attraction? When you take a look at Lesotho, you will find that it is a mountainous country and white people who are claimed to be tourists love mountainous places. Besides that, Lesotho scenery is so beautiful that you may consider migrating to one of its tourism attractions. One day I was watching videos on YouTube and I saw videos of Basotho youth doing a traditional dance. Oh my god, what a beautiful thing to see a nation proud of its heritage. Lesotho history is one of the main reasons why it is a tourist attraction. There are many historical places in Lesotho where there is a lot of heritage. For, in, for, for example, Tababusiu, which is Basotho's fortress. During the Falkani War, 
Basutu were able to defeat many rivals on that mountain. If you want to know more about Tababusiu, you will have to visit Lesotho so that the people who are responsible for guiding you and giving you all the information regarding what happened during the, the Fakan War will help you with that information. Apart from that, there, there is this place called Oxbow. It is one of the tourist attractions found in Lesotho. But be warned, if you are going to go to Oxbow, you have to bring your heavy coats because it is so cold. The temperatures hit below zero, maybe around minus six or what. Okay, Mushesho one, we are going back to Tababusiu's history. Mushesho one led the Basotho nation to Tababusiu and he was able to defeat many rivals on that mountain because of that. The mountain is one of the historical places you have to get to once you took a decision to visit Lesotho. If you came to Lesotho for tourism and your tour guide doesn't take you to Tababsiu, oh my god, she or he needs to refund you. You have to go to Tababsiu. How on earth can you tour in Lesotho and not get to see Basotho's fortress? That would be useless and it would be a very bad mistake. Indeed. Anyway, let me proceed to other points regarding the most beautiful places in Lesotho. The second point that we are going to talk about in this video is that what type of destination is Lesotho? Oftentimes, many people living in other continents believe that we, in Lesotho, only monkeys live or backward minded people live in Lesotho. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to answer this question. It's actually a, a, a rhetoric question as to what kind of people are living in Lesotho or what kind of a destination is Lesotho. Lesotho is that destination which is found within the Republic of South Africa in African continent. I am saying this because it is surrounded by Republic of South Africa. Whenever you cross any Lesotho border gate, you should know that you are crossing to South Africa. This is why it is called a landlocked country, or sometimes people call it an island in Republic of South Africa. Lesotho is such a beautiful place and a beautiful country full of beautiful land and fertile land. Even though Lesotho is landlocked in South Africa, it is one. It is the it, the one that supplies Republic of South Africa with water via the Lesotho Highlands Water Development Authority (LHDA) in short. As for As for the geographical explanation, Lesotho is a mountainous country which is which has four regions being the lowlands, Sinku Valley, foothills and the highlands. The highlands is the major reason why people or foreigners come to Lesotho for tourism. It holds many beautiful places which are considered to, to be the tourist attraction, attractions. The reason being mountainous places make Lesotho so beautiful and attractive. Later as I go on with this video, you will learn about the top 10 places to visit in Lesotho. For now, let me leave it and I will continue with it later. Let's jump to the physical tourist attractions in Lesotho. There is this place called Afriski Mountain Resort. We have Tabanant Lenyani, Kazi Dam, Muhali Dam, Muyela Dam, Malizunyani Waterfall, which is located at Smongo, the, the Tabapuzwa Range Mountains, Drakensberg Mountains, 
Maluti Mountains. Hakome Caves. This place is situated in Berea. Tababusiu Cultural Village. Sethanyani Park. Dipofu. Sunny Pass. Snake Park at Culture Snake. This is a new one. Mafiga de Siu Pass. Morisia Museum and Archives. Subin Dinosaur Footprints. The Lion Rock Mountain, which is situated at Hamatala in Maseru. This one is a new attraction which has just been found. Sinku River. Marimun Caves. Marimun is the place where our great great grandfather of Kim Shafi the first was was killed by the carnivals in that cave. We have Lenza's Gap. This is where you can go for for fun and have different games and enjoy and have parties or picnics. You will learn about it later. Mushesh one statue and many others. If you want more details regarding some of the best places about mentioned in the above section which I have passed, you will have to go and ask Google for some of those historic for those tourism attraction places in Lesotho. Let's proceed to historical historical places in Lesotho. We have cultural village, Nenghwaneng, Mount Morosi, Morija, Kome Caves, Dipetu, Madimung, and others. What are the most beautiful places in Lesotho? If you are look, if what you are looking for is beauty, you need to visit Boko Natural Park. You also need to ensure that you get to Kazi Dam when it is overflowing. I remember in 2022 Kazi, Kazi Dam overflew four times, and this was just so beautiful. And many tourists came to Lesotho to view. To, to view that beautiful scenery of water overflowing. If you didn't see that, you missed the beautiful incident in the history of Lesotho's tourism. One of the most beautiful places is the Pofu. Apart from that, there is this place called Malzunyan Waterfall, which is situated in Simongo. If you want to see the beauty of nature, this is the place for you. There are rumors that one of the wild people died in that waterfall. They wanted to capture the image of that snake in that waterfall. But very unfortunately, it killed the fellow who was in the waterfall. Okay, let's proceed to what are, what are some activities you can do if you are on holiday in Lesotho. There are so many activities that foreigners or tourists can do when they came to Lesotho or when they come to Lesotho or if they are already in Lesotho. They can horse ride, that is riding horses. They can go skiing and skating. This game is actually available during winter. You can do fishing. There are so many places where you can find fish. Fish pond. Or fish farming. You can do mountain biking. I have already mentioned that Lesotho is a very mountainous place. And you will find that white people, they like challenge. So that is when they take a chance to, to bike on these mountains. They can mountain climb, that is climbing mountain. They can do motorbiking, bed watching. One other thing that <clears throat> that differentiates Lesotho from other countries is that it has so many beautiful, many beautiful beds. 
and they come in different species in different species if you like watching the best then come to Lesotho and you will find the different species of bears. You can drive to Sunny Pass to the highest pub in Africa. When you get to Sunny Pass, you will find that you are on top. You are on the top of Lesotho when you are at Sunny Pass. You can drive to some of the Lesotho's other windy places or passes. You can also do pony trekking. The other point we move on. What is there to do in Lesotho during winter? In Lesotho there is a lot of snowfall during winter. If you love snowballing or snow skating, or snow skating and skiing, winter is the right time to visit Lesotho. Besides the games that you can take part in you will enjoy the beauty of Lesotho's mountain covered in snow. That is the most beautiful time in the history of Lesotho. You need to come to see how the mountain kingdom becomes during winter. The coldest places in Lesotho. Oxbo and Simongong are the most coldest places in Lesotho. During winter, the, ten, the, the temperatures drop as far as minus 10 degrees Celsius in these two places. If you are to visit these two places, you have to ensure that you bring your heavy clothes so that you keep your body warm from the cold weather. Apart from those cold places I mentioned, all the places in the highlands are cold even though they may not be as cold as those two places when i'm talking about the highlands i'm talking about mohotlon district tabaseka and kashasnake are some of the districts with cold weather conditions during winter you also need to bring heavy coats with you while you visit one of these districts Let's move on to picnic spots in Masero. Okay, let me get this. You are now, let's say you are now in Lesotho and you don't know where you can go for a picnic in Masero. If you are that person, you will have to stay with me on this part because I'm going to reveal the coolest places where you can have fun. You can go for a picnic at Central Park. It is found in Masero. Lenses Gap is also found in Maseru. Marabi is in Maseru. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's found in the Berea district. We have Lion Rock Mountain at Hamata. You can go to Sesanyani for a picnic. You can also host your picnics at the hotels or at the B&Bs or at the guest houses. There is this place called Lebo and Dini Events Center. Lebo and Dini, and Dini Events Center is a place where we can go and have fun. This place is situated at Sitlikizin in Masiano King. In this place, you can go you can go there to have fun and unwind through affordable, affordable prices. This beautiful place has been handcrafted within the, the yard of the owner of this place. So if you are to go to Lebo and Dini, I don't want you to go there and cause fires and bring trouble or drama. It is in somebody's yard, so you cannot go there and cause chaos there. Okay, it seems like we have reached the end of this topic today. I am sure you have learned a lot about the most beautiful places in the suit.
But the question is, which place would you like to start first with it? Do you want to go to Tababsiu? Or do you want to visit the Lion Rock Mountain? I want you to comment below this video and tell me what you think and which activities you would like to do when you come to Lesotho. Oh, don't forget to share this video with your friends or your colleagues. If you loved it, please leave us, please leave us a like and click that little bell on the left so that whenever I post a new video, you are notified that there is a new video that has been posted. I would also like you to, to subscribe to this channel so that it can grow and reach more people. Until next time, ciao. Bye.